Race 8 is the Woodland Maiden Stakes. This is a two and a quarter mile maiden, so I think the second longest distance race of the week. And it's for three year olds at once, and let's take a look at what we've got in it. At the top, we've got Jeopardy for Graham Clitterbrook, The Big Hearth for Obi Wan, Deep Backward Square for Satyam. He's obviously got a bit of a cricket thing going on this season. Go Time for Joshua Sutherland, Lady Warsong, Padre Hogan, Lucky Angel, Craig Beckwith, Meg Mucklebones, Martin Leader, Scary Galactic, Adam Old, and Lakeside Breeze for Jim Murray. So nine runners in in this two and a quarter mile up. And ready to go and away they go with go time just one of the first to show but a long way to go yet and now the great deep backward square so Satyam had a lot of front runners a couple of seasons ago and looks like he's got at least one more there's a deep backward square goes two lengths clear of scary galactic in second I wonder if Satyam's got one called Silly Me Off as well. Anyway, it's in the lead at the moment as I come up past the stand. Big track Ascot, of course, and although this is a two and a quarter mile race, they've only got one complete circuit to take. If we take a look from the top of the stand, you can see all the way around the track. You can see them racing up the straight there. They'll go past the enclosure. There's the winning post and the totalisator board and the big screen and the ambulance. Always for action if needed, and they race away, swing right handed and down the back part of the track. And it's a deep backward square, the grey for Satya, in the lead by three lengths to Scary Galactic in second. A gap of a couple then to Lady Warsong, who's in third. It looks like we've got a clash again with Satyam and Padraig. Well, I have no problems in this race as one of them's a great. After that is go time, then Meg Mucklebones is after that one. Then the yellow jacketed the big hearth with on its outside ground box Jeopardy and on its inside Craig Beckwith's Lucky Angel. The back marker at the moment is just Jim Murray's Lakeside Breeze as they continue on their way. And deep backward square enjoying a comfortable lead. Scary Galactic bowling along most in second and Lady Warsong in third and the rest of them are in more of a group. The lead in three are an Indian file on its deep backward square in the lead from Scary Galactic second and Lady Warsong third. And Go Time who's been hitting that chasing pack for most if not all of the time so far and Jeopardy Meg Mucklebones in the purple and white stripes. The yellow jacket of the Big Earth is next. And Lucky Angel, just a back marker. No more than a nick behind the horse in front as they race away from us again. And they've got just a little more than six and a half furlongs still to go. And Deep Backward Square is in the lead by two and a half lengths to Lady Warsong is now moving into second. Scary Galactic has dropped back into third. The one that's making significant ground around the outside is Lakeside Breeze. Go Time is trying to cover that one's run. Meg Mucklebones is tracking them. And then the back three of Lucky Angel Jeopardy and the Big Hearth who's now just dropped to the back. And it's Deep Backward Square. He's been in the lead all the way so far and continues to all along in front, just being niggered along by the pilot to keep up to his work, and he's probably extending the lead again now to two lengths or so from Lakeside Breeze has moved through into second. Lucky Angel is now switching around the outside and looks to be making a forward move. So too does Lady Warsong, who was just given a bit of a breather. Meg Mucklebone is coming around the outside. Go time hit a bit of a flat spot. Gary Galactic has also dropped back. The big half is trying to run on, and Jeopardy is now the back marker. But Lucky Angel has swept into the leaders. Satyam's deep backward square gives way. They're past the two furlong pole, and it's Lucky Angel who's now gone too clear from Lady Warsong in second. Meg Mucklebones is in third, then comes Go Time and Lakeside Breeze, and he's a point clear of the rest of them, but it's Lucky Angel who's got first run on them all, it's the final furlong there then, and Lucky Angel leads by two, doesn't look like they're going to get to this one, Lady Warsong is trying to close, but Lucky Angel looks to have this one pretty much sewn up now, they're quite well strung out as they race up towards the line, it's going to be Lucky Angel that takes it, Lady Warsong second, then Go Time and Lakeside Breeze in the big half, Jeopardy run on well, Meg Mucklebones dropped away, and so too did Scary Galactic and Deep Backward Square, and it's a win for Lucky Angel, two and a quarter miler, so that one 
Could it drop back to two miles? Will it go up to two and a half? Could it be a gold cup horse? Will it be just a standard cup horse? Doncaster Cup, of course, is a two and a quarter mile biggie. Maybe the Chester Cup in a few weeks as well. Depending what sort of market gets for this. But Lucky Angel is the winner. And that's one for Craig Beckwith. So Lucky Angel the winner for Craig Beckwith. Lady Warsong for Padre Hogan was second. Go Time, Joshua Sutherland third. Lakeside Breeze, Jim Murray fourth. And the Big Hearth for Obi-Wan was fifth.